uh, if you look at the implications of what he said, the truth is, um, Archbishop Ajinasari is no lightweight in this country. He commands a lot of followers. So for him to come to make such a statement, it carries weight. And the future... And, and, and I'm sorry for cutting through, but when you say it carries weight, w what's your fear? Because his followers may assume or may believe what he's saying is the truth. But to us, it's absolutely false. But, but he's the archbishop here. We're, we're not in the realms with him to know why he's saying that, that side of the country is a demonic headquarters. When he talks, when he talks about is I'm not in the realm mm -hmm. with him. Uh, I'm that, not saying you are not. Yes. I'm saying he's the archbishop. Yes. He's preaching to his followers. Well, that is to his followers. Yes. But in, we in the African spirituality understand spiritual things than him. Okay. I have to be honest. Okay, but here's the case. Yes. I'm making that case because he was speaking in church. Yes. Not, not at the time he was granting an interview, right? So the believers, well, it may just be part of the teachings he's putting out. Well, the question again is, what is the motive okay. behind his statement? If you listen to the video carefully, mm -hmm. he said they had a crusade in Aplau. Right. And then he instructed the younger pastor to, to disgrace the witches and the wizards in Aplau. Then on their way back, their tire got a problem. And because of that, a whole town, a whole community, is the demonic headquarters witches or demons, that is where we find it very difficult. My brother, see, Nogopo is located on the West African or ECOWAS highway. We have thousands of cars that ply that road carrying goods, humans and goods. Mm -hmm. Nobody has ever come out to say such a statement. Meanwhile, you have also men of God who apply those the pastors, mm -hmm. let me put it, because I'm not even comfortable with the term using men of God, because we are all from the creator, so we all have that attribute. Mm -hmm. People, other evangelists, pastors, reverends, also use that stretch of road. Okay. Now, if you, if his junior pastor, or the pastor he's talking about, don't maintain his car, and his car has a problem, why do you attribute it to a whole town? Now. The question again is, what is the motive? He is saying with authority that he destroyed the demons in Aplau. And that is why he had that encounter. So he's trying to show his powerful nature to his congregant. But trust me, Ajinasari is powerless. I'm telling you on authority. His congregant can believe him because they are part of the church. Mm. But in our side, he is powerless. Okay, well.